Okay, for tomorrow's video, we have one last very special thing planned that uh, I'm kind of sad to do, but we're gonna do it. So you'll see that in tomorrow's video. That'll be the last Germany vlog, and then we're headed back to the US. Here we are. Five hour road trip back. What did you say? I said be careful, there's straight up snow on the ground. Sketch. Now you can see that it is straight up snowing. We are halfway into our trip to Leipzig. Straight from France in yesterday's vlog. Oh man. All right. It is 4.30. We just made it to Leipzig. Um, we're dropping the Porsche off. We have to wait a couple hours though because I don't know what time we're in a parking lot. I don't know what time this place opens, but they need to take my car and ship back to the US. Oh yes, finally. Guys, it's 5.30 in the morning right now. Oh, sorry. These are all the Porsche workers, I think. We were just parked in their parking lot. But um, we actually talked to one of the security guards and they're letting us drop off the Porsche early, which is great because we can go to the airport. Here we go. All right, no name. We're dropping her off. I'm so tired, guys, and I don't think I have any idea, but <laughs> here we are, okay, vlogging and everything. Mm, this place looks familiar. Oh, it's so cold. There we go. We gotta say goodbye. Oh, it feels so... Weird to be back here. here. We have a GT2 RS. All right, we're gonna get this car all cleaned out. Alright, guys, we're saying our final goodbyes. This is so crazy. We've literally toured all over Germany. My camera's on red um, and it's super cold out, so the camera's probably gonna die really quickly. But we've toured this thing all over Germany. Actually, I gotta show the official odometer. Hold on. Do I have the key? Alright, check this out, guys. So, I'm calling out all Porsche drivers. Anyone with a Porsche? No, I'm just kidding. Check this out. After our entire trip, we have 2,910, 20, 29, <laughs> 2,910 kilometers on the dash of this brand new GT3 RS, guys. I literally picked this car up from right here. If you remember this, I drove it off of right here one week ago, and we drove like all the way through Germany, all the way through the Netherlands. We went to Belgium. We just went to France like yesterday to get food. You guys saw that in yesterday's vlog. Um, wow, it's been quite the experience, and now we're headed back to the US. So, take the key. Everything's cleaned out. This is weird. So, now the car will go on a boat. It'll get shipped back to the USA. And then she'll finally get to meet Kylie. But this is, uh, this is our final goodbye for right now, guys. Ah. There you go. You gonna miss her? Yeah. A oh, oh, really sad. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's cold as hell. <laughs> Yeah.
So I wanted to end this vlog off with something that, something crazy that happened and it was very eye-opening to me and it's kind of why I want to sit down and talk about it just for a second. I don't know if you guys are from Europe or you follow the news or anything like that, but recently there was a shooting in Strasbourg, France. A massive manhunt is underway in France for a gunman who killed at least three people at a Christmas market. We have just confirmed one person is dead and six have been injured at a Christmas market in Strasbourg. Deadly terror attack outside a Christmas market in eastern France. Multiple people are dead, at least 12 wounded. French police have opened a terror investigation. Basically, if you saw yesterday's video, I was there with my friends right before I went home. Um, basically, what had happened was we went and got dinner in France. You guys saw that vlog. I was looking at the map and I basically said, you want to go to France for lunch? And then, well, lunch, kind of brunch, right? We just went there randomly. We were about 30 minutes away from the border. Sipping on the go. Me and all of my friends, we wanted to go get dinner in France before we drove back to Leipzig and then flew home to where I am right now in the US. So it was just a super random, like I said, a super random turn of events. We go there, we have lunch, everything's normal, completely normal night. <laughs> and then we drive back, we fly home, and by the time I had landed back in the US, I was getting a ton of DMs from fans saying, hey Tanner, like I saw that you were posting stories with the tag Strausberg. Are you still there? Like, are you okay? Is everything okay? Are you okay? Are you safe? And I was very confused. I, I didn't understand. And then I started getting messages with links. 24 hours, I can't make this up, 24 hours. We ate dinner there at about seven o'clock and 24 hours later, the next day, there was a shooting in the same street of Strasbourg. We went to like a Christmas kind of fair market sort of thing. We ate lunch on the street where there was a shooting literally 24 hours from when we ate food. And there were three people killed, there were 11 injured and it, like, not only do I want to say that like my, my prayers and all of my thoughts go out to the families and anyone affected by the shooting, um, it's just so tragic, it really is, and it's, it's such an unfortunate thing to talk about, especially just in this day and age with all these different shootings going on. It's, it's really sad to talk about, but the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's such an eye-opening event because like, I want to use this moment to kind of inspire you guys to live every moment like it's your last. And I know that sounds so cliche, but that's kind of the biggest thing I took out of this. Had me and my friends gone to eat dinner, say we stayed in Germany one more day, or this, this terrible event happened the day prior, me and my friends could have very well been injured or something horrific could have happened. And it was completely out of our control. It's, it's such a devastating thing to keep having these events occurring like all over the world just for no reason. It's, it's frustrating, it really is. With that being said, these, these terrible things happening all the time, you, you truly just like, it's out of your control. Like these normal people are living their lives going to a Christmas fair and this happens. I, I, don't even like, I don't even like saying the word, like they just happen and it's, there's nothing people can do about it. And it was such a, it, a weird feeling it's hard to explain like me being there 24 hours it's it's surreal when you come so close to something like that and it was completely out of my control so the reason i'm telling you guys this story is i want to show my love to everybody affected by what had happened and i pray that all the families and everyone um is okay and those who were injured recover and are full of health but I'm also bringing it up because I hope that you guys can see that in this message and not take it as one of those normal cliche things that go right through one ear and right out the other. It's, it's real life and it's scary and it's something that a lot of people are, I think, afraid to think about, you know, living every day like it's your last. To be in that position, it was just, I'm rambling my words because it's a, it's a really hard thing to talk about, but I felt like it had to be addressed and it's just tragic. I think that's the only way to put it. So guys, please live every day like it's your last. Stop looking at what everyone else thinks about you because you could go live your life a normal day and you never know what could happen. So live your life every day the way you would want to live it. Just live. We only get one life. We're on this earth. Live your best life. Again, I wanna say I'm, I, I give all my love and prayers to anybody, um, all of the families and the victims affected by the Strasbourg shooting. Live every day like it's your last. 
follow your dreams. I can't stress that enough. It's so important and I wanted to talk about that. So yeah, I'm back in the US now guys. We have a super awesome challenge video coming for you tomorrow. We're still trying our best to keep up on Vlogmas. We're gonna keep it going as long as we can. Also very excited to be back at the house. Um, can't wait to do just a home vlog and kind of share that with you guys. So look forward to tomorrow's video. Without further ado, peace out.